I'm gonna take you too. What's the word? Tell me what you eat, baby. I wish I had a cabana and I wanted some nachos. But sometimes they have like new different stuff. So I just see these nachos. I forgot what they were called. And it had everything I wanted on there. They're like, oh, the ones that come in the big box. And I was just like, yeah. The biggest box I've ever seen from Taco Cabana. It's pretty huge. And it's full of nachos. I got lasagna fritter from Olive Garden. Y'all know I cook for Olive Garden. Close up, baby. Last time I got Olive Garden, which was like the other day, I wanted lasagna fritter, but I didn't get lasagna fritter. So today I got lasagna fritter. It comes with meat sauce and Alfredo. And I got extra Alfredo and extra meat sauce. Um, this is some spaghetti and meatballs. So I'm gonna fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raspberry lemonade. Raspberry lemonade. I'm all around the bus. I got a strawberry margarita. And it's almost gone, we just started eating. Since someone only likes to eat in certain places, I had to go to two different restaurants to get food. So, I had already started drinking and eating before we started recording. Boom. You a day drinker, I'm not. The video <laughs> that I posted uh, before this video, eating at 54th Street, got a drink, a margarita, and I didn't, because I don't drink it during the day. But I don't drink it all now. This year, I have not drank it all, but even before when I was drinking, I don't drink during the day. Look, I was out there playing the basketball and I was out there on Christmas, around the holiday time. So I posted a video around the holidays with Christmas of a guy playing a trombone. It was a trombone. Young boy out here with the trombone. What's up, man? That's what you're talking about, saying that that guy was out there. What was he doing this song? Anything he was doing there. He, he was playing his money. He was playing trombone? Mm-hmm. Oh. What kind of music? I couldn't make out the song he was playing. Mm -hmm. So we literally been like lazy all day. But after we eat, we go on grocery shopping. We don't have to. So I'm eating now. I know, I thought you were going to take a nap. No, I really don't got to eat. Like, I'm not even going to eat all this, and I can eat the rest of it later. So, maybe we can go tomorrow. Yeah, I'm definitely but, not going to eat all this. But we've been eating out lately because, like, we don't want no home food. We've been eating home or house food, like, for at least a month. And if you know me, you know, we be at the restaurants. All of them. Got to excuse my hair. It's not done. Yo, yesterday I looked at me in my fridge because I had just took it down. But I done slept on it, put it in a front tail, took it out of front tail. Next time I get on camera, it'll be done. Hopefully. Yeah. It's to do it. If y'all ain't had lasagna fritter from Oak Run, you better eat some. Ready to move on? Yeah. You better get a fork gone. But that's why, honestly, I like for them to go ahead and put the sauces on there and so they can soak them up and be softer. Yeah. You know, you know when to go, they don't put the sauce on them. And then so, like, they just be kind of hard to get from the sauce. Look how she do her. You should be on camera, because that's not on camera. Get it right so it can marinate. Sauces can get up in there. Let the marinara marinate. I don't know if I had Alfredo last time with it, mm. but I'm sure Alfredo sauce is so good. This bread seemed like it's soft today. Mind you, on camera last time, I was like, they used to give like three or four. There's literally four in here, but the, when we went to Olive Garden the other day, they only gave us two. 
And I ordered a whole dinner side, chicken alfredo, with soup, and they only gave two. But see, I don't even like the bread, so they really cannot give me none. But because they're soft today, and I got extra alfredo, we're gonna fuck with them. I'm gonna fuck with them. I know, it's like this hot part is really hard and crunchy, but the bottom part is soft. So these are the same. Go ahead, turn one. Oh, you can call this the same. Do it. Do it when you get that guitar. You know what they are. Man, got the fucking up the Wick and Lay. Oh, man, not the Wick and Lay. Buy your shirts, y'all. Wick and Lay. Shopify. On my Instagram. Wick and Lay with Rocky Spray. Click shop now so we can get on my Instagram. Wick and Lay with Rocky Spray. My baby got COVID shirt too. So I'm gonna say 60. Please. So hit me. And then I'll let y'all know where to order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More designs coming soon. You wanna play that game, babe? Right now? Let's get deep. Questions for couples. Okay, so it's three different sets of cards, icebreakers. Boom! And then there's deep. And these questions are a little bit more deep than the icebreaker. And last but not least. How to play. The person who made the first move in the relationship is the first to draw a card. Players alternate turns reading and answering the questions and you play until you know too much about each other or it's time to take it to the bedroom. Ooh, okay. You wanna play by the rules or make our own? Like that. Okay, follow the frame. Fall. Oh, I think we should do deeper. What do you think? Yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay. If you had the option to be famous, this is a good one. <laughs> Would you take it? Why or why not? No. Okay. Why not? Being famous just seems like it comes with a lot of like public scrutiny. And it just doesn't seem like, like if you're famous, I feel like you can't want to be famous for the money, you know? And I think a lot of you want to be famous for the money. But, um, I mean, I don't think I have anything that I'm like, and when I say famous, I'm thinking like superstar famous, like people that are like the Grammys and Oscars, you know? Um, of course I want to be like well known and maybe have, um, like make a positive influence in people's lives where I don't want to be famous. That's too much. I'm good at it. I would. Um, and why? <clears throat> When people feel like it's their destiny. Just because like, it's an amazing life. I, I mean, it just, it really depends. It's a lot to it, but it just, um, I know that a lot of celebrities are not happy because they can't have their privacy or they're always getting talked about or close with or whatever, but like. Followed by paparazzi. I mean, it just, it just is what it is and it come with it. Like sometimes you don't even be trying to be famous. Like you just want to do what you do, maybe like write poetry or write music or be behind the scenes. But then like one day, it's like everybody knows who you are. And so you can never go anywhere without being noticed or whatever. So, you know, some people can handle it and some people can't. And I just would say that I, I can handle it and I would be, I mean, I'm cool with it. This one says, what do you consider cheating? I consider cheating, I guess anytime that you're like into or even like thinking about maybe like fucking with someone else. Now, I know obviously like you would have to actually act on these things to be like caught or it may be in trouble. And not everybody watches porn, but I'm just saying like, say you watch porn. You are literally fantasizing over what you see on a screen 
So say you're just fantasizing about somebody like in real life. I mean, it's literally like the same thing. I understand that people may not think of it like that, but it's the same thing. And some people do consider that cheating. Um, I don't necessarily, like for me, I don't like, okay, you watch the porn, okay, you think such and such is fine, or you think this woman or this man is fine. But I feel like when you actually act on those feelings and thoughts, um, then that's when it becomes cheating. And obviously just like sex, kissing, touching, maybe even like hanging out. I feel like smoking blunts together is kind of cheating too because bitches kind of be feeling like it's more than what it is just because they get to smoke a blunt with a nigga type shit, you know? Like but it depends. Not everybody's like that. I'm just saying maybe like your personal experience. I consider cheating you have a relationship that is deeper than a friendship with somebody. Um, and but like well, that to me is like cheating because I feel like whenever you cross that line, it is like almost inevitable that the physical aspect is going to come next, and that's like definitely cheating. So that's what I feel like cheating is, you know. Because I feel like whoever you're in a relationship with, or whoever your partner is, you can get to them and talk to them and share those things that people in relationships do. Whenever you feel yourself kind of like pulling back from your partner and you like look into somebody else for that like emotional support, you know, physical support, sometimes it's financial support or whatever, like that to me is just completely unacceptable. I feel like that's what she did there. You wanna go again? Sure! Let's see. So what is the scariest memory you have? Oh my god, a lot of scary memories. <laughs> scary. But the one that came to my brain first was uh, the night that I was about 14 years old and a man was in my room tickling my toes. Now, it's a whole nother, it's, it's, we're not going to get into like everything that happened or whatever on this video. Maybe I'll make another one. If y'all want another one, y'all can comment and tell me y'all want like the full story. Yes. I actually told the full story on my TikTok, but <clears throat> if you follow me or have been following me or fuck with me, you should know that they deleted my TikTok. So um, I have a new TikTok where I don't think that I have posted that video or me talking about what happened that night. But I could, I can, really I can just post like a, cause I did like part ones, part two. This was before TikTok had three minute videos that I had made this video. So I had to do like part one, part two, part three. But I can just put the parts together and actually post a YouTube video instead of like retelling the story. But yeah, the night that a man came into my bedroom, mind you my bedroom was on the second floor. So he climbed the balcony some kind of way, which there's literally nothing underneath. So I don't know how he got up there, but I think he was a tall man though. Cause I know, I know who it was now. But uh, then it was, I was a 14 year old with a man in my room, like standing over my bed at the end, like tickling my feet. So that's the scary, that was one of the most scariest times. Terrifying. You want to find out how? You got to wait for my video. My scariest memory. Okay, I was in a bad relationship, like really, really bad. And one time we got to fighting and arguing. Whenever I felt like I could empathize and understand where people on that show Snap were coming from, and like my mind space just wasn't where it was supposed to be, because I was needed any and all cost to make my situation different. That's probably the scariest thing, because it's like really scary to be in that type of mindset. Thank God that's in the past. Would you accept a million dollars to leave the country and never say put it in it again? That's the one I put back. Because I already knew what you was gonna say. What is your ideal day to spend together? You wanna go first or I go first? I like to eat, obviously we like to eat. So restaurant time, together, movie, outside of the home, like movie night, day night. And Freddy kind of night, like, I was gonna say go-karting, but they have more, or like arcade place, but they have go-karting or just like racing, like, car, they have laser tag, yeah, laser tag and stuff. I do David Busters, I fuck with David Busters, but then like, I feel like, you know, David Busters been around so long, like, 
it just is kind of like it kind of gets so if you have to pick one perfect like one ideal day for us to spend together what would you say? how to catch a flight and that's what i was gonna say go out of town yeah and going i mean like, like, maybe like out of the fucking country <laughs> really yeah because like i said i'm ready to go you know by the beach nice view like over the water in the maldives or i mean i really don't care it could be israel just out the country I just don't want to go nowhere really that everybody's going. I don't want to go to DR. I don't want to go to Miami. I don't want to go. I don't even want to go to the places that everybody's going, you know, nowadays. And it's like, I want to go somewhere where, like, hardly anybody ever goes. To relax. I'm a relaxed together type of person, you know. Calm, cool, collect, chill, drink, eat fruits, and talk about life, and talk about the future, and talk about goals, and aspirations, like, I know you can say like a 24 hour trip or maybe like a turnaround trip or whatever. But not not going out the country, you're gonna have to stay for a couple days. I'll take my ideal day. I go on a trip. Somewhere fun. Um but if it was like just like something realistic and practical that we do all the time, like I gotta pick my favorite days we can together. Probably like day that we go and get food. And I know this is cheesy, but like we have car dates. And I just they hold a special place in my heart. We like turn Netflix on and set it up and just sit there and eat wherever we are. Cause I like my food hot. Yeah. So the whole like driving home shit <laughs> and the food being it being cold by the time we get home, I'm cooking that. It just makes me happy to be in that type of moment. And then come home and chill, relax, get a little foot rub, a little massage, you know, turn on some Netflix, a little booty rub. That's the thing. Video. I see. You know, I'm gonna play on my video. I got this whole YouTube video about rolling blunt. You on the wrong channel. We're gonna do one more question and we're gonna get up out of here. Go ahead. These questions aren't that good. Be able to see your own future or be able to see everyone's future like your own. We gone, y'all. Love y'all. Thanks for having dinner with us. I've been playing. Let's get it. Love y'all. See y'all later. Peace.